told me like, um, because I was telling him about all of the, the negativity that I've run into with homeless people, um, of all of the groups or um, demographics of people, uh -huh. I thought that homeless people, because you know, we at the bottom, would stick together. Right. But uh, it's not that way. They steal from each other, they rob each other, uh, yeah, and do all kinds of sick and depraved things to one another. Um, one might say it's the plight of the African-American people because totally we've given the white man too much power in saying that he's the devil and has brought us down because ain't nobody brought us down but us. Uh, but For sure. Let me tell you, no white man on no amount of boats rolled up on the coast of Africa and came on the land and said, we taking y'all with us. No, the higher uh, echelons or the higher social order of Africans would sell the serfs, the lower order of Sell them for trinkets, just like the Indians stole the island of Manhattan, which arguably could be Babylon today, for like $24. A whole island. Manhattan Great Island. Right yeah. Devil. Manhattan Island has more money than any other place in this country yeah. per square mile. <laughs> Manhattan Island, that's where the big money is. Uh, US, the World Reserve Bank is over there with all of the gold from the different countries and whatnot. But um, $24. We put ourselves in this kind of area as it relates to black people and we continue to do that if we would stick together like mexicans yeah. you know well, why do you think mexicans stick together they cannot even like each other but they they run stick together. um they they're, fake they're family oriented and they're nationalist at heart most ethnic groups are nationalists at heart except for african americans and that's excuse me afro americans because we feel displaced and the home is broken of course you know that You've got so many people like me uh, and so many lazy ass like because coming up their idea of what a home and gender roles is skewed because you've got single mothers being mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's nobody to teach this youngster how to be a man. And what he's learning is that who should be in charge, who should provide for him is a woman. So you got all these these niggas living off these women because this is what they learned coming up. Yeah. It may not have been taught out of somebody's mouth, but it's what they saw. Okay, I see this strong black woman taking care of everything. Mm -hmm. So this is what I ascribe to. Yeah, so now I got to go find me a strong, tough, beautiful black woman to take care of me again. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I could be on the soapbox for hours. Why am I here? I am homeless today because I came out here. Um, like I said, I thought that homeless people would be different. I thought I could find like love and a family out here. And, you know, subsequently I have found love out here and somewhat of a family, but not like I think. And as I was saying earlier, um, some homeless people told me it's because I haven't really met homeless people. Homeless people are really nice people. Um, they are the beautiful utopian type people who've given up things and just, you know, live off the land or off resources and they don't waste things they're not pooping on the sidewalk or peeing on dart platforms they're not stealing from each other they're real homeless now what i met in the beginning weren't homeless people there were people with weird situations fake dope dealers women trying to take care of men who've lost everything and the men are out here out of obligation or some kind of guilt because you know you took this chick all the way to the bank you know all of these people are situational type homeless, which is to say that they could go in at any time somewhere. You know what? I'm not going to say that. I've gotten to be like, oh, well, I'm not homeless. I'm just out here. Yeah. I can go here. I'm one of those. I get $2,084 a month from Social Security on the third, every month. Wow. I did that for the first three weeks. I did the first two months of being homeless, and I've been homeless since February the 9th. Uh, I got a room for three weeks out of the month. And I stayed 
overnight in those rooms, maybe less than a week. So it's just really wasting money. Um, I'm going to do... like to be outside. Long story about prison, but yes, subsequently, I do like to be outside. Um, fast forward, though. Yours. Okay, great. Okay. So fast forward, though. Um, I got one more month to be homeless okay. before I go in because now I'm at the point where I want to give up everything and not. So for the month of June, I'm not going to take any money. Like, I'm just going to live off the land and the Lord on faith that something or somebody will provide for my needs as it's promised. Um, I think money for sure, or the love of money, is definitely the root of all evil. I think capitalism and quantification has brought us to this that we have. Yeah. Um, sidebar, another tangent, going back to uh, ethnic ethnicity and how different groups stick together other than blacks. Yeah. You know, Hispanic people, um, the ones that Trump want to kick out, uh -huh. are the highest uh, growing group of donors for the Republican Party. See, the Mexicans know what to do. If you can't beat them, join them. They give it money to the right cause because they know where the power is. Just like the Jews. Jews are the highest con contributors to the Republican Party. Every year, the RNC, the Republican National Convention, is sponsored by a Jewish super PAC. Every year. And it's always in Vegas. Always in Vegas. Yeah. But I came out here looking for like better people. Say love, you mean like a husband? I got a husband. Okay. Who he and I are separate. My husband actually stays in a mercantile building. He got a million dollars. Yeah. Okay. He's got a new chick, young, big boobs, I'm told. Not seen her. Well, okay. How, how long have you been dating? <laughs> um, since. Uh, Dart has asked us to leave. I've been dating dudes my whole life. Okay. Um, no more buses tonight. Let's go.